Reignite your adventure. Here's your look at the upcoming release of the first four figure Activision Spiral the Dragon 8 inch PVC painted statue. First Four Figures is proud to present the highly anticipated Spyro the Dragon 8-inch PVC painted statue. Spyro is an energetic young dragon known for defeating his enemies by breathing fire and charging at them. He also has the ability to glide to usually inaccessible places in the game world. The folks over at First Four Figures currently has Spyro on a wait list. So if you are interested in picking this one up for yourself, you can click the link down below. As I'm going to go ahead and get the measurements going for Spyro, I want to send out a big thank you. A big thank you to the folks over at First Four Figures who were nice enough to send Spyro the Dragon my way. Now, as I indicated at the beginning of this review, Spyro currently is on a wait list over on their website. So if you guys are interested in picking this one for yourself, get on that wait list. So as soon as he is available, they'll ship one right to your door. Let's get this review underway with the Ultra Mesotron 5000 in check. According to the Mesotron, we're looking at a figure or statue, I should say, that stands at a rather impressive 7.4 inches in height. Yes, somebody from the back of the mobbed crowd yells, well, what about centimeters? Let me go ahead and do that right now for you guys, colleagues of mine. I consider you all colleagues of mine. Aww. The Ultra Mesotron, the tape measure in hand, tells me that the PVC painted statue of this little dragon Spyro stands at 18.7, 18.7 centimeters tall. The only thing you really get if you pick up Spyro for yourself is this little booklet, Spyro 8 inch PVC painted statue down below that bottom left corner, you're seeing Activision, the bottom right corner, you're seeing the logo for first four figures, TF01, with a TF001 underneath there. We open up the booklet and it also discloses some of the new upcoming releases that they've got lined up along with their website, www.first4, make sure you put in the number four, figures.com. You can see there's an upcoming release of several Crash, Crash Bandicoots and also some upcoming releases for Spyro as well. There is also a rewards point all right, we'll go ahead and give that to you. Thank you for buying the Spyro PVC statue. Have included a gift of 500 points. No, 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 it's the least I could do. There you go. Feel free to use that and uh, get yourself a statue for yourself. Uh, there on the back also, you can don't delay, don't delay. Join our 4F4F, first four figures, official collector's club today. First four figures is love. F4F is love. F. 4F is life. Join the group. There's the QR code right there. The other thing that this does have as well is on the back, actually uh, right down the bottom there, it shows you something else that you can do. Something else of which it comes included with the box. Let me go ahead and show you what exactly that is. Well, if you go inside the box, pulling out the contents, what you're essentially getting is you're getting yourself a little diorama display stand. Now, the instructions actually indicate that you could cut off the sides. Let me go ahead and show you exactly what I'm talking about here. 
you can cut off the sides and ideally cut off the top. So really what you're only going to then be seeing is the back section and then the bottom grassy terrain. In theory, really, actually, if you had this on a shelf, shy for a fact, of course, the shape of the side of the cardboard, uh, you could easily just contain it without having to cut the sides. But they kind of want to make sure that you kind of clean it up a little bit. So you want to cut the sides off, cut the top off. But you get yourself a really neat little diorama, a nice little kind of backdrop for the forefront, the foreground dragon that's going to stand amongst that. I do really like that. It's always a nice bonus, if you will, to have something packed inside the box that you can then display the statue with, if you so wish. Now, that being said, let's get a look at this incredible looking statue. You'll see fans of the game series will probably know some rather familiar sites like the terrain in which Spyro is standing atop of. Something also that you'll see atop of, or rather his hand atop of, is one of the gems. The various gems are also known as treasures or jewels in Spyro the Dragon, and also were called, I believe, Dragon Treasure in Enter the Dragon Fly. It basically serves as the signature collectible, or in this, in some cases, also the currency as well. You can see that Spyro, like I said, does have his hand atop of it, sort of firmly gripping it in his one paw. I love the fact that the jewel, by contrast to really the rest of the statue, has a nice, really nice, real kind of cut stone look to it, which is translucent. I don't know if you can see that or not. My, my hand is running behind it. Uh, none of this is actually removable, so the statue of Spyro, for example, and the gemstone are perched atop of this and, like I said, cannot be removed. Um, on the underside, I don't know if you can make it out or not, but underneath that you've got first four figures, Spyro the Dragon, sort of actually more elevated than it is painted. Usually, oftentimes when you look at the underside of a statue, this section here would be painted in white, giving you like websites and information and where it was made. Here we've got, like I said, the first four figures, which I'm hoping the camera is going to pick up, Spyro the Dragon. Underneath that, a larger font of Spyro and even a symbol or a picture of his face. And underneath that, 2018 Activision Publishing Inc. And then Activision Spyro and Spyro the Dragon are trademarks. Down below that, first four figures with once again TF001, which I guess would be the serialized indicator as to which number this is in their statute sequence. Surprisingly, actually for its size, there's a fair bit of weight to this. Um, it does like feel heavy when you immediately get it out of the box. And uh, what you are immediately getting out of the box is, like I said, a fantastic sculpted image and depiction of the little dragon known as Spyro. I love the paintwork that they've done for this. It really does feel like it was pulled right from the game. I love the very happy smile that has been sculpted on the front face of Spyro, and just the right level of sheen has been added to his eyes, reflecting actually the light rather nicely, and even if you don't have a source, a light source, projecting down from above, you can also see as well that they've printed on a little bit of reflection on his top corner of his eye. I love this also, this additional shading that they've added, I don't know if you can see it, right there, right above the pupil. It's sort of a little bit more of a darker brushing and airbrushing, just to kind of give it a little bit more depth. Um, certainly speaking from a life standpoint, there's definitely a lot of life being captured in the face sculpt here of Spyro. And actually paint really doesn't just stop there, nor sculpt stops there. As you can see, cascading, look at those very large words, cascading, my friends, right from the very top of his forehead all the way down are all these pebble stone shaped scales that are running down the majority of his back which also carries all the way down which as you of course get the larger spine platelets that are running down these scales here all the way down to this kind of shell shaped tip to his tail uh, really the coloring is fantastic on this release not really a whole lot of coloring for the purple. In fact, actually, if you look at the purple itself, it doesn't look like there's much in additional airbrushing added to it. No darker tones, no lighter tones. Seems like they really kind of kept it to one coloring of purple, with, of course, the secondary being utilized here for this pebble stone kind of additional texturing added to his skin. 
Where really a lot of the paint comes to play is actually more his underbelly and also his his wings here. This is where it gets much more afforded, this kind of darker, kind of sunsetting auburn color added in there. It really does. It, it's a nice contrast, actually, to the lighter color that really makes up the spined edge of his wing. The wings are a little more, if you could think of it as the fragile ends of things, most of not all of the statue really does feel well constructed but of course the wings are something you'd want to be a little bit careful of you wouldn't want to clip that wouldn't want to bang that and most certainly definitely you would not want to be dropping the statue of course his trademark mohawk is running down the middle sections of his horns get a load get a gander at this glorious color that they've added in here sort of sort of filled in the little crease and creviced areas of his horns with kind of this dark coloring of black almost a dark dark brown and then around those bands they've added some additional airbrushing to that as well it's sort of a slight departure than the coloring that gets its makes its way to the mohawk makes its way to the wings it's actually a really nice contrast because it allows those horns to pop to stand out if you will that additional coloring carries from the horns and also uh, is recreated here down his middle underbelly section here. But as you can see, he's very proudly presenting to the collector who's nice enough and lucky enough to have picked this piece up for themselves. Uh, again, you've got some additional kind of filled in sections here of brown. I like these little line, little notches that they've added in there as well. The color is fully finished, the paint is fully clean, and I don't really see any imperfections necessarily. Like I said, the paint on it is really done well. Uh, the only thing I kind of wish, unfortunately, for the statue is things like his hands, for example, the things like his feet, for example. You can see that they have attached them, like this part likely was part of the gemstone, and maybe the feet were part of, obviously, the display base. The way that it's been assembled, you sort of see a line right there where the foot is not the same attached, well, not the same part of the body as the legs. The same thing actually can be said on this side as well. It's not super noticeable and certainly from a distance you're not going to see it much at all but it's something i do definitely want to bring to your attention that like it does look like they have attached the top part of spiral to the bottom half that's attached to the display stand like i said it's not from a distance you're really not going to see it but i just want to show you like some of the close-up details here actually speaking of close-up details while I had already said that there really wasn't a whole lot of additional darker tones of purple utilized here, he gets definitely a little bit something extra here around the areas of his claws. You can see some airbrushing of a darker purple. While it's not really necessarily here, he does get a fair bit darker when it's around here. Sort of as if the shadow is cascading down, cutting off the light source. So obviously areas like the claws, for example, would be a little bit darker. I uh, really, again, love the look of this statue. It's playful, it's heroic, it's certainly the way that you would picture uh, Spiral to be. Now this is, of course, one of the first releases from the folks over at First Four Figures. And again, I'm really happy with how it turned out. A big thank you, by the way, again, to the folks over at First Four Figures who were really nice enough to send this my way. As I said, if you guys are interested in picking up Spyro for yourself, it's currently on a wait list over on First Four Figures, and I'll provide, I'll most definitely provide the linkage down below. So, a little 411, this is the standard release of the Spyro 8-inch PVC painted statue. If you swing on over to First Four Figures website at www.firstnumber4figures.com, you can get a gander and check out their exclusive release of the same PVC statue. Now, what makes that one the exclusive versus the one that we had looked at in this video is that on his wing, sitting atop and perched on his wing, is his little dragonfly friend sparks which is pretty cool the box also is a little bit different than the one we looked at in this video a little bit more grander a little bit more uh, elaborate if you will but if you guys are interested in getting the exclusive you might want to head on over to their website right now because there is a wait list currently there get on the wait list and when he is eventually stocked and ready to ship he'll ship out to you at $99.99 that's the exclusive release but today we were having a look at the standard release of Spyro and just shy really 
of Sparks being omitted from this release. Still a spectacular looking statue. First Four Figures has really done a bang up job of capturing the likeness of Spyro, looking as if he was pulled right from the game. Again, if you guys want to check out some really cool stuff and get on the wait list, www.first4figures.com uh, and head over there today. Uh, today we were having a look though at the Spyro 8 inch PVC painted statue. If you guys haven't had a chance yet and you're new to this channel and maybe liking the content that you see and want to stay on board, thank you for that by the way, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below my friends and colleagues. It's just below this video and uh, that way when new videos are coming onto this channel, new reviews, you'll never miss a beat. More reviews will be coming your way so stay tuned for those and thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys next time.